Hi guys, it's Piggy from the Paper Bumblebee. So as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff on my desk, a lot of Christmassy stuff. So I am making like a little clusters, tag clusters I'm going to call them. So let's go and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Okay guys, so I'm making these little tag clusters for, um, I've got, I'm busy on a project, I want to make, uh, so me and a good friend are doing Advent together, so we're going to send uh, some stuff uh, for junk journals to each other, and I want to pack them and put on each package, I want to put on each package uh, one of these tags with a little number for the day. I'm going to stick this on the package with the number. That's what I'm going to do. So I've got one and I've got this one ready, number five. So let me show you what I did. I made tags out of some brown cardstock. And I took some Christmas paper and I made some more little tags. And then what I, I've got some uh, numbers I cut out and I organized them in color. This, these are just the plain green ones, the plain red ones, and these are the, the colored and the, the more busy ones, that and... I don't know, mistletoe, I think. And these are just cards I can use if I want to with some sentiments or just some color if I want to use this. And I want some color, I can use this with it. And I've got some scraps, uh, just some book page scraps and Christmas color papers, scraps and just coffee dyed scraps. Uh, I've got some cheesecloth dyed and I've got some lace or yeah lace Here's some more trim it says happy Chris or Merry Christmas on there. I've got some washies Just gonna Take them off. So I made tags with this punch I uh, bought this punch I think from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I just love it. It's from Art Artemio, Artemio and I just love it you can make three tags so you take uh, let me show you just gonna have a look if I've got some this is gonna cut some paper okay so you take a strip of paper or just a little thicker cardstock and you can make three kinds of tags so how you make these is how uh, wide your paper is so the widest uh, uh, you can use is two and a half inch and then you put it in and you get this kind of tag on the top and if you let me just cut this so that's one so if you make this now two inches so you cut off a piece and you make it more narrow you've got two inches you put it in well this is actually too narrow but okay you get a tag like this so that's different this is more rounded you've got one two three rounds and this is just uh, slightly going up and round and then you can even make it one and a half inch let me just Cut that off and make it one and a half inch one and a half inch and when you put that in it's just a bit small but it will work you get one of these so that's how you get three tags so you got these three tags with just the top is different and the length you can do and decide yourself how long you want it and then you've got this left over okay. 
So, what I did with those, just move this a little bit. Oh, I also got some buttons we can use and some beautiful string, red with golden glitters in there and some eyelash trim we can use just lots of stuff you want to use i've got some little bells i uh, i want to maybe use as well on the maybe it's nice for on the topper i've also got a whole pa or a round punch for if i want to punch this out also i've got the my crocodile so i punch these two holes for maybe I, if I want to put brads in there or split pins or whatever. So we'll see how it goes. I don't have any plans except for these two. These I also want to make. I want to make um, specimen cards. I've got this little die and it cuts out the specimen card like so. This goes like this I think. Yeah. And then I want to glue this in there. Like so. And then decide what else I want to do with this. So maybe I will glue this quickly, but I want to cut it smaller. I don't want it to cover the little holes so I'm gonna trim it just a bit I want it <coughs> nice and centered so I think like so I'm just gonna do the glue on the specimen card to just get it Tuck on there. See how this goes. Everything is just glued with a glue stick, and I also want to do some stitching later on. I'm just going to do the gluing first because I've got this for now, and then you can glue the whole thing right what to do it might be nice to put something else on here got this wooden uh, bell I don't know what you call these we can put that on there I'm um, just thinking if I should I think I'm just gonna take some to wine just take a small piece just make a little bow there you go nice and simple we could even do something else let me see if that's nice maybe put some of this little trim down here I think I will do that you can even stress it a bit there we go I think that's fine nice and simple it's already really busy so there we've got three now okay so I'm going to glue this on here So I glued it on there, 
I'm just going to ink up the edges. These Christmas papers, if, if you are interested, I bought locally, so I can't link them for you below. I'm sorry. Let's get some coffee dyed papers on there. Link it up as well. Cut this a bit smaller, ink it up, and I want to make a cluster now. So I'm just going to use some coffee dyed papers and maybe some cheesecloth, and I've got some black thread on there. See if that works. And maybe just put it on like so, and then I don't know if I want to put in anything extra. Oh, I know. Wait, I'm going to, just going to glue this quickly. And then I want to use a nice... This is not what I wanted. This is the wrong red, so I'm gonna see maybe this. Um, wow, I don't know. It's found this. It's not that white, but it's bright. It's the good color, and it's really pretty. It's got little um, presents and mittens on there. Let's see how that works. Let's make half a bone. Okay, that's better. What else does it need? Mm. Okay, so I thought I want something red. I thought I first wanted to put some dots, but I thought, okay, I've got this little punch. It's like a Christmas bell. I think I'm going to try that. I want some red paper. Okay. Okay, so I managed to get three little bells, or manage. Okay, so I've got these bells, and I'm not even going to like them. Oh, maybe like this. Okay, one. Two. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. Three. What do you think? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to ink them up and glue them down. Okay, this is how it looks like when finished. This little ribbon for the top. I got this three little bells and I put a little piece of uh, just book page behind it just to give it some definition and to pull it all together. Some coffee dyed papers and um, 
cheesecloth with some black thread with the number on there and I also put a little uh, scrap piece of book page underneath there so another one done so I want to use this napkin and I want to put that on so that that's gonna be quite a large tag yeah okay so I want to use a napkin on there and see what I can do with that I'm just gonna also show you some options and I hope you will be going to try that as well if you like it two layers only just found these really cute napkins I think and just want to use one quickly for today okay, so I cut one and I am just going to use my glue stick to get Mr. Santa on there Okay, so I'm just gluing the napkin on there, just the top as well. Here we go, put the napkin on there, and I'm just going to go around it with a wet brush, so I can tear it away. I think everybody knows this method already as I said I'm not worrying about the back for I'm going to glue this on the little package and if you don't like it you ta can take a, a nail file and just file around the edges and get all access off and then I want to ink around it So maybe just cut this out to six, I think, and use it like that. Well, I don't really want to put a real large number on there. Okay, there we go. One of my things, fussy cutting. Uh, let's see, just on the bottom here. We can put the six on here, but I want to back it with what shall we use? Just ordinary coffee dyed papers. Let's see, where is my coffee dyed paper? Just a little piece. It can hang off, I don't care for it's gonna be glued onto something, so that will be fine. I'm just gonna ink it up quickly. 
edges. What can we put on there as well? Some of this cheesecloth, I think. And maybe use some black thread. Oh, this is already really busy. And I don't want to use too much patterns or such stuff on there. Let's see. Quite big. Okay. Maybe some black thread. How did I put it? Ah, can't remember. Something like that. And um, maybe I can use some. Where do I put it? Of this on here. We'll see. Just glue this down first. to punch the hole again well, there was a hole there or maybe it's just let me just take my brush and go through there okay. and I want to put some of this twine again What else? Some maybe this will be nice. Velvety trim. It's really velvety, feels like velvet. I'm just gonna put that through there. And just fuss with it and then get the velvet to the front. Here we go. And then just cut this excess off. Here we go for the topping, and maybe we can put some little piece of this somewhere here. Uh, get some tacky glue.
So we've got the red on the top, and then we've got the red center, and then the little red piece on here. I will, like I said, go uh, around it with my sewing machine as well. But I think I could maybe do like a, I think I'm going to do that, I like that. Just tear a piece of the page and ink around it, of course. You can see I'm having a ball for it's such a mess here. Unbelievable. Where's my, where's my thingy? My inker. Just the edges, and then I want to glue this just behind there. There we go. I think that gives it just a little bit more. Maybe on the bottom as well. Let's see. Let's ink that quickly. Gives it just another feel, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the bottom as well just want to line it up with this and then with that so then we've got like a extra border around it but just on the one side and I think that one's done I will be sewing this around this and over the six or otherwise glue it with some tacky glue and we're done with that one as well okay so in between i also made another one i used a napkin again i just uh took the number and put some split pins in there you can see them in the back and then on top i put a nice velvety ribbon with a little bell i thought it would go well the bell would go well with the little reindeer ha. and that was another tag done so let's see what we've done we've got this little tag with the napkin then we did the little double tag with a cluster and we also did the little specimen card sorry for the mess guys and I off camera did also did these two okay so guys I just wanted to show you as well how I'm going to use them you can use them in the junk journal of course but I'm going to use them on advent presents I want to put on each present a number so that the person receives these packages who receives them will know which day to open what present so that's why I'm just going to glue it I think on there like this one or even the tag I can just glue on there and that's the whole idea or maybe I'll even do little pockets with the, uh, these so I'll make a little pocket on the little present and I'm going to tuck them in. That's also an option. Um, I'm not sure yet. I will see what I'm going to do. But that's the idea of these tags I'm making. See this one will fit nicely on there if you glue them on. But as I said you can also put it in a the pocket then she can reuse it so maybe that's a good idea 
But that's the idea. I, I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.